Hey, what time is it? It's ToyCon TV time. Yes, it's a Saturday night and it's a little bit past 8 o'clock, but who cares? It's a Saturday and this is your weekly catch-up with the local toy community and fandoms that love everything about toys and collectibles. And this is our way to keep the ToyCon community together despite our being kept physically apart. This is, of course, brought to you by ToyCon, the show that brings collectors together and has been doing so for almost two decades. This is ToyCon TV, and we are powered by X-Link Events. Welcome to Episode 4. Now, do you remember the very first toy that you ever owned? Well, I remember these two toys, and I bought it with my own money. All right. These two toys are, next slide, a Batman water pistol, which I bought from the grade school fair back when I was in grade three, and a 3D Viewmaster, which my parents bought for me from COD department store in Cubao. Now, I remember countless hours of playing with these, uh, with, with these toys, and now I miss them. I miss not having them and preserving them. And uh, if any of you out there have a Batman water pistol, please sell it to me. <laughs> and I also remember having these toys that you see on the slides. These are the Ace Super Trump Card Games, die-cast matchbox toys in boxes. All right, dati ang matchbox at saka Hot Wheels nakakahon. All right, I used to have so many of these. And of course, piles of super robot stickers, which I used to buy in our nearby Palenque. Now all lost or played to shreds in the time portals of the past. And if any of these were still preserved in an antique shop or a hobby store somewhere, they would cost a pretty penny. Yet, there is a big market for these vintage toys and collectibles. Now, why this fascination with vintage toys and collectibles. Well, in a previous episode, someone remarked that 90s toys were the best. <laughs> and who are we to say any different? That's probably because that's when his childhood was fully lived out. Kung 80s baby ka, di syempre 80s toys hahanapin mo. Kung 90s baby ka, 90s toys would be the best. Well, we all want to regain and retain that childhood wonder. And that's why these items are so precious to us. It brings us back to a time that was certainly more innocent and most memorable. Because we would play with our toys. Yes! Nilalaro natin mga laruan natin nun. <laughs> our guests tonight are the premier vintage toy collectors of ToyCon. And they preserve the best of us because they preserve the child in us. Back when toys were truly great. Let's meet our guests for tonight. With my new co-host for tonight, he is my work colleague from Ateneo de Manila. Uh, he, he handles special events for the school. And, of course, is my fellow toy enthusiast. Please welcome on ToyCon TV, Mr. Chris Castillo. Yo, yo. Hello, kapatid. Asa na ang aking co-host? <laughs> Chris Castillo. TV. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Here we go. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Yes, thank you. And uh, naganda ako no, for our vintage uh, vintage episode. So I'm wearing Boltus 5. Right. I couldn't bring out the... Oh, di ba? Represent. All right. All right. Represent. And I'd like to... <laughs> And I'd like to introduce my friends. They also came oh, out oh, tonight. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no? right. so, oh, well, they weren't my original toys from back in the 80s and 90s, no, but they are the uh, upgraded versions. Okay, nawala ba si Chris? Oh no. All right. Wait, we'll try to get him back. Sayang, I would have wanted to see his uh his toys. Ayan, fellow 
fellow toy enthusiast ko rin yan. Kaya, kaya enjoy ma- makita yung mga toy. Ayan, were you back? You're back. All right. Ayun. Yes, you were saying. You were saying. Oh. Yeah, so well, perhaps before I continue, let's, I would like to tell the audience it's raining pretty hard in different parts of uh, NCR right now, I think. No, so that's why the, the oh, signal is a bit shocking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so far, but let's let's still continue with our toys. Let's not let it let the rain it stop the parade, so to speak. <laughs> All right. Yes, so yes. again, of course, who doesn't know Optimus Prime? Yeah. Right. And then nice, right nice. here in front, uh, yeah, He Man, the man. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, sino ba? Oh. Sino ba ba ni, sa baba ni Optimus Prime? Parang G.I. Ah, Joe ba yan? Yes, it is Snake Eyes and Timber. Yun, no? Rawr! Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> ah! Yeah. G.I. Joe na naman. Timber. Yes, yes. It, G.I. Joe. It, it's funny you mentioned COD, kapatid. Uh, Oy, bakit? One of my most, one of my most pressured, uh, pre- precious toys, which I lost, unfortunately, no? Uh, my mom and dad bought for, for me from COD, si Flint, G.I. Joe Flint. Yes. Okay. Back then, wow, it was wow. only, Original, back NPC. then, oh, 30 pesos pa lang siya. 30. 30 pesos, 30 pesos. G.I. Joe? Oh, oh, si Flint. So, kung si, just like what Cholo mentioned, if anyone has a, a Flint uh, figure, a G.I. Joe Flint figure, uh, and would want to sell it at a a friendly price, and um, please do hit us up. Right? And then just and last, of course, who doesn't yeah. know the TMNT, the This is the show for, 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 for. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, and nice, Jembre, nice. you know, Ultimate Warrior. I'm, nice, <laughs> Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, that's just nice. like it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so again, okay. uh, we hope our, our audience but is I'm getting. Yes. Oh, wala yan sa mga collection ng mga guests natin for tonight. Oh, wala. And so, we hope our our, our audience is getting revved up. And so, we'll start with, we have four guests for tonight. Uh, and I'll start by introducing Doc Tony Alvarez. All right, let's show Doc Tony's handsome face right there. All right. Hi, Doc Tony. Hearts, hearts, hearts. All right. So, Doc Tony is a physician <laughs> no? with with specialization in radiology. So, frontliner. Saludo po kami. Frontliner. Yeah. Frontliner, <laughs> yan. And he's been with ToyCon since since year one. All right. No, uh, we don't yeah. usually see him on stage. He's backstage taking care of all the precious giveaways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So T- Doc yeah. Tony uh, has a has a wide collection. Uh, he has Star Wars, uh, specifically Darth Vader. All right. So he's from the dark side, I guess. All right. Uh, and other Darth Vader related items. He has Disney cards, the first series, specifically superpowers, and so on and so forth. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, let's give a warm round of applause for Doc Tony. Yay! Doc, right. yeah. Oh, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Doc Tony. All right. Welcome, we'll welcome on. to Toyco TV. Welcome. All right. Uh, welcome. We'll now introduce uh, our... Good to be here. Um, yes, yes. Parang kinakabahan ako sa vintage kasi ang, ang theme, eh. the theme is vintage. Vintage collector yeah. or vintage collection? Yon, Lili na natin yun mamaya. So, <laughs> vintage oh. collection. No? The vintage uh, oh, toy okay. collectors. So, kayo yun. Oh. Ang vintage yung toys. Yung collection. Ayan. Oh. Ito naman si but Doc. In, in some, okay. But in we some are very cases, proud to have Doc Tony with us. Ano yan? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> okay. We now go to our second guest. Uh, our second guest is Jazz Ordonez. So there's Jazz. You can see him on screen now. Hi, Jazz. Hello. Gandang gabi. So Hi. Jazz is also a, a vintage toy collector from Bacoor, Cavite, representing the Deep South. <laughs> All right. Bacoor. Nice. Uh, Hello. Hello. Hi, Jazz. Oh. Oh, kapwa Cavite niyo. 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and most of his collections are from the 80s, all right? Toys from uh, Generation 1, so that's Transformers Generation 1, of course. Voltes 5, all right? And other robots, all right, from his childhood. And he's currently the admin of Retro Classic Vintage Toys Philippines. And we'll hear more about that later. Palakpan po natin, Jax. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Welcome to Toy Con TV, Jazz. Good to have thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Yes. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> our, yeah. our third guest, is our third guest on board already? Si Fingers Mr. Crossed. Si Mr. Kasi, uh, <laughs> Ka problema siya sa kanyang uh, internet signal, no? So, uh, oh, if, he's not here, if he's not yet here with us, then we'll hopefully we can get him back. But let's introduce him nevertheless. Okay. All right. So, our next, our third guest for the evening is uh, Alfred Alcala Jr. Of course, he's the son of comics illustrator Alfredo P. Alcala. Ayan. Ayan, yeah. let's see Alfred. Sana nandiyan. Yeah. Sana makita natin si Sir Alfred. Kasi yeah. kanina, all lang yung nakikita natin. Oh. So, uh, he comes, of course, from a family of artists. Uh, and he took up architecture, designing in local and foreign franchise stores. Yeah. Professional. And uh, he's also Santi, the founder... Santi, isang mic. Uh, isang earpiece. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Pwede naman, Doc. Sorry. Pwede naman. <laughs> Uh, and it's also the so uh, Fred Alcala is also the founder of Philippine Vintage Toy Collectors, no? and he founded it in 2010. And together with our fourth guest, whom we'll introduce in a while, they established the FB page and exhibits uh, of this group to consolidate and showcase treasured, forgotten, yeah, no? forgotten and iconic toys a lot of us grew up with. No? So keeping tabs on toy design, manufacturing techniques, etc. No? So he has an eye for the design and no? not just particularly the, the characters or whatnot. No? So yeah. ladies and gentlemen, later on, we hope to see his, his, both his face and his collections. Uh, we have with us Mr. Alfred Alcala Jr. Yeah, and, and uh, actually, Alfred Alcala. Uh, Alfred Alcala is the uh, the father, the original, the artist that we all know, uh, his very detailed artwork. Anak niya si Alfred, who carries on the yes. legacy of his father. Yan. Mga oh. found, the founder of the Philippine Vintage Toy Collectors. Yan. That's Easy. right. Back in right. 2010. So, 10, uh, 10 year anive na nila. Yan, o nga, no? Yan. And okay, then so our... Can join us later? Yes, yes, yes. And our fourth, and uh, but not the last guest, no, and we hope also they, they can connect soon. Uh, <laughs> is, All right, nandiyan pa naman siya. Nandiyan pa naman siya, but uh, konti-konting gumagapang yung Wi-Fi. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have to, um, tonight with us Mr. Raymond Rainman Red. Yes, Red Direct Rainman Red. Uh, he oh, is, of course, uh, as many probably know, a director, and perhaps those who are closer to him uh, know that he is a collector, apart from him being a TV and commercial uh, and movie director. Mm -hmm. And so he's an, an avid collector of antiques, uh, curio items, about curio, okay. and vintage toys since the 80s, right? Uh, he is also the current admin of Manila GI Joe. Ayan, matutuwa siya. Meron akong yes. snake eyes with me here. Right. And also Manila... co-admin. Oo. Oh, oh. yeah. And co-admin. Uh, Manila GI Joe Collector Circle. Ang buong pangalan ng grupong yun. <laughs> yes. Okay. Manila GI Joe Collector Circle. Yep, yeah. yep. All right. And he's also the co-admin of the Philippine Vintage Toy Collectors FB page. And so we have four guests. Palampakan po natin sila. Right. So medyo bumigay yung signal din ni uh, Derek Raymond. Uh, dahil siya ang rain man. Ayan. Umuulan ngayon po natin sila. <laughs> so we hope that we can get better signal later, uh, later uh, kapag sila na yung uh, magpapresent. Okay. But so kapatid, before, yes, yes, it's, it's not only the rain that's pouring tonight. We're also going to make it pour. Four prizes. Oh. Yes, yes. 
So do stick around with us until the very end of the show because later okay. before we end, uh, our guests will be giving away some very uh, rare items from mm. their collections. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mga, mga giveaways as we usually do during ToyCon TV. Of course, we don't yes. we want to make sure that uh, people enjoy uh, viewing and also uh, look forward to winning some things. Actually, meron na akong giveaway hmm. as early as now. Oh. If people are yeah. already tuned in, uh, meron tayong mga vintage souvenir programs. Okay. So I have 10 of the ToyCon 2011. <laughs> 2011. This was our 10th year anniversary <laughs> back in 2011. Ayan, ha? This Benda. is a... Uh, Vintage na yan. Itong souvenir program na to. Not everybody was able to uh, get a copy of this. Uh, so it has, ayan, nung time nung 2011, we had cosplay circle na guest namin si Miss Alodia. Ayan, no? si Miss si Alodia. They shot a cosplay yeah. movie during ToyCon. So it, it has some very Benda. nice, uh, what do you call this, uh, articles inside, features of the ToyCon back in 2011. Ayan. There's wonderful fan art also. So we are giving out 10 of these souvenir programs, uh, okay, vintage na yan, to the first 10 people who can comment on our Facebook live feed. Ang iko-comment ninyo is, I love ToyCon TV. It's as simple as that. Just uh, type in your comment, I love ToyCon TV. The first 10 people to comment, I love ToyCon TV, gets to win one of these souvenir programs from ToyCon 2011. All right. Yeah. Good luck. Enjoy <laughs> the rest of the show. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's start right. it off. Let's kick it off. Doc Tony. Ayan. So yeah, our first guest for the lineup is Doc Tony Alvarez. Take it away, Doc. Oh, let's start it off. Um. Yeah. I'm waiting for the. PowerPoint, yeah. Okay. So, welcome to ToyCon TV. ToyCon PH ang logo. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. This is now the uh, new normal for uh, where I work as a radiologist. Um, hopefully, it does not stay this way for the next two to three years. Uh, next slide, please. This is when I go to be, uh, on vacation. I only usually have a one uh, three day vacation, all in ToyCon. Next slide, please. Okay, so I primarily collect. Uh, Darth Vader figures um, ever since uh, the fur uh, the reissue of Star Wars um, episode 4 so I've been collecting that since then um, I've been specializing in uh, Anakin and Darth Vader figures for up to the present um, next slide please but one of the more vintage collections I do collect, uh, figures I do collect, are the superpowers figures. Next slide, please. Okay. Around in 1970, uh, DC and Marvel was licensed to a company called Mego. Um, Mego used to uh, make eight-inch figures uh, as their toys. But by 1976, uh, there was now a decline in the toy sales by Mego. They were still selling Star Trek. Um, George Lucas uh, approached them if they wanted to uh, build the toys for Star Wars, by which Mego decided not to pursue, pursue it. So eventually DC was eventually picked up. Uh, the, the DC line was eventually picked up 
uh, by Kenner. Since in 1983, the Mego Corporation filed for bankruptcy. So in 1984, a new toy line was uh, rolled out, courtesy of Kenner. Next slide, please. The new toy line was called Super Powers Collection. This um, toy line, um, next slide. The selling point was the power action for each figure. Uh, each figure would have a specific power action uh, wherein unlike the previous uh, eight inch figures where it is was static, here it's either you press the arms or the legs wherein the um, each uh, figure will now move for a specific uh, power action. There were um, the initial 1984 line, the first wave was around 12 figures, followed in 85 by another uh, 11 and 10, for a total of 33 figures uh, for, the, for the next uh, three years. So as you can see, these were the 33 figures. There were two mail away figures uh, the first was a Stephen, Stephen Wolf, that's number 19. And what is not shown here is the Clark Kent uh, mail away figure. Next slide, please. So this was a, uh, the superpowers figures were actually uh, sought after because of the it stayed, it stayed true to the form by uh, the drawings by uh, Jose Garcia Lopez. Uh, if you will notice in the, in the coming slides, it would show uh, the drawings are actually well made and the figures actually were well made. So these are the samples of the figures uh, from left to right. So that's Golden Pharaoh above, uh, Red Tornado, Green Arrow, uh, Robin, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern. Next slide, please. Followed by Stephen Wolf above, um, Mr. Miracle. Uh, nga ba to? <laughs> well, uh, uh, Dr. Fate. The Sad, Mantis, um, Penguin, and of course, Joker. Next slide, please. Okay, we have uh, Darkseid, Orion, Samurai, Red Tornado, um, Tyre, uh, of course, Lex Luthor, and um, we have um, Mr. Freeze. Of course, the helmet is uh, still incorrect. I'm still finding, I'm trying to find um, a better helmet that suits for this line. Of course, you also have Brainiac and um, Calibac and Parademon. Next. So on the first wave, the figures came with a, came in a card and with the card uh, came uh, figure with accessories and of course the mini comics and at the back of each card you can cut it out and have the stats for each figure. Next slide. Please. So one of the uh, uh, mail away figures, this is the second, uh, this is the, the Clark Kent mail away. Next slide please. So as in all figures, since this were a three and three fourths figure, wherein prior to this, all figures were eight inch. But since the, this has become a three and three fourths size figure, uh, vehicles were now added to for which you can now play along with the figures. So this is the, the superpowers Batmobile along with Batman and Robin. Next slide. Next slide. 
This is Lexor 7, uh, the vehicle of Lex Luthor. It contains a kryptonite uh, crystal, uh, which he supposedly uses against Superman. Next slide, please. Of course, to protect uh, Superman from, uh, from the kryptonite, he uses the Supermobile. Next slide, please. Of course, this is the lesser known um, vehicle, the Justice Jogger. It was, it, this was supposed to be for Superman, although uh, critics have said that why would you need a, a vehicle for Superman since he could fly? Next slide, please. For Kalibak, uh, they made the Boulder Bomber. Next slide. For Batman again, they also added a Batcopter uh, for him. Next slide. Each vehicle usually has a uh, pamphlet, which has a poster, and uh, at the back would be a guide on what figures and vehicles you would collect. Here uh, are samples of um, coloring books that were released during the time. Next slide. Of course, you have the VHS uh, tape. Uh, very few millennials know what a VHS tape is. Next slide. So, there was also an adventure set. So this was a uh, adventure set um, wherein uh, by color, a color forms where you have to stick uh, the sticker onto a uh, reusable uh, board. Next slide, please. Of course, part of the Super Friends um, they also released, uh, of course, Super Friends, and at the same time, the Super Powers uh, lunch packs. Next slide, please. After the third wave, there was a decrease in uh, buying or the purchase of figures. So, in the future uh, releases of Batman, this is from Batman Returns, a penguin jet was created. This is a black penguin with this penguin jet, which actually fits the superpowers penguin. So I decided to collect this because it really actually matches the size and, uh, and penguin actually doesn't have a vehicle assigned to him in the superpowers line. Next slide, please. Again, this is a Batman animated series, Joker with similar body to the superpowers Joker. It's nice to have a vehicle for Joker. So this is the Joker mobile. Now, after which uh, the end of the superpowers line, DC Sup Comics decided to have DC Comics superheroes. These were actually copies of the superpowers line made by Toy Biz. So um, on the back panel, if you can see, there are uh, Wonder Woman, Superman, uh, Penguin, Riddler, Mr. Freeze and Robin is still there, and of course, Lex Luthor. Next slide, please. Okay. So that ends my slide. Thank you very much. Yay! Thank you, thank you, Doc. Ayan, nilabas ko yung mga superpowers ko. Yay! <laughs> Just for your... Ito, iba si Doc Fate. Meron ako niyan. Ayan, this is, uh, he's celebrating uh, some sort of anniversary. Ano ba, ilang taon na ba to? Is 70 years old or something? Pero alam mo talaga sa superpowers line. Ayan. Uh, Superman pa rin. Superman. Are you giving that, are you giving that to me? No, no. Pinap 
Pinapasikat ko lang. I'm sure meron kompleto ka dito, mas kompleto. Do you actually have the Clark Kent mail away? 70 the years old na yan. 1984. Really? 84 eh. 1984? So ilang taon na yun? Hindi, <laughs> ano pa yun? Uh, 30-something. <laughs> yan. Siyempre yung mga B-characters yan yung mga gusto ko. Firestorm. Si Firestorm, I, I, Hawkman. I do, I do. Yan. Luthor. Nice, nice. So, uh, and you also you actually sold me a superpowers Batmobile a while back. Thank you, Doc. Priced priced anyan possession ko. All right. Thank you. So uh ayan, patingin, patingin. Sige, let's uh can, can you move your your computer a bit para makita natin yung ano? Mm-hmm. I-tilt mo lang ng konti yung screen, Doc, para makita natin yung carded yung carded superpowers mo ang medyo ang medyo awesome. Okay. Ayan. Uh, I see, uh, ano yung medyo glossy na yan? Is that a, may cyborg ka ba? Do you have a cyborg superpowers? Ayan, ganda. Alright. That's really nice. Carded. Who's I? <laughs> Very nice. Ayan. Beautiful. Cyborg! Woohoo! Gotta love it. Plastic man, Clark Kent. Beautiful. Ikaw talaga. Ikaw na. <laughs> you are Mr. Superpowers. All right. You also have the lunch box, the lunch pail. Amazing. All right. Okay, thank you, thank you, Doc. Thank you very much for sharing your collection with us. No, meron, meron. I, I've... What's that? What's that? I've seen, um, I've seen um, collectors with, with. Carded, carded, ba? Thank you, thank you very much for having me. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Ayan. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc Tony. Okay. Tama. Ayan, oh. May nag-mention. 80th anniversary ni Dr. Fate. Ayan. 80th mm-hmm. and Happy 80th anniversary, Dr. Fate. All right. Thank you. Uh, and to all of those tuned in, thank you for your kind words. Ayan. Thank you, Doc Ronnie. Ayan. Si Jerry Yao also. Saan po makakabili ng ganyang display case? Oh, Doc Tony, ano, saan mo daw, ma, saan daw nakakabili ng mga ganong display case? Is that a acrylic uh, di- display case? A- acrylic case yan, Doc? Uh, Daiso. Ah, Daiso lang. All right. Very good, very good. Daiso, Daiso. Which, okay, which ones acrylic. among your superpowers... Which ones among your superpowers now is your yeah, most treasured? Yeah, acrylic case. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. Teka, all right. Uh. Thank you, thank you again, Doc. Ayan. So hopefully we can get uh, Chris back into the feed. Ayan. Very good. Nice recap of history. Galing. Ganda, ganda. Ganda, collection ganda. ganda. And uh, oh. DC, eh. yeah, close to my heart. Basta DC. <laughs> DC Ganda. boy. Ako. Kapatid, but bak- bakit yung mga superpowers mo panay loose tsaka Oh, kasi eh, uh, well, <laughs> I wanted I wanted this I I brought out my entire collection. Ayan, no, meron pa ako Mar- Martian Manhunter, Ma- of course Martian Flash. Manhunter. I I like yeah. them loose actually. Gusto ko yung collection the way si uh, Doc Tony would display them in individual cases, but I have them loose. Oh. I'm planning to actually have them framed. Kasi nakita ko yung collection yeah. ni Alex ni Alex Ross, yung superpowers mm-hmm. ni Alex Ross, the painter, he had them framed. Mm, yeah, so yeah. I'll probably do that one of these days. Yes, why not? Why not? Ganda. Okay. All right. Naalala ko lang, kapatid. I, yes. I used to have, I used to have the Trinity. Okay, the superpowers. superpowers. Oh, na, 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 <laughs> naiyak na ako. Nawala rin yun. Gineta ata ni Mama. Oh no, all right. Oh no. Meron ba hindi ko nakita? 
Sabi ni Luis Mendoza, may ERTL DC superiors daw si Doc Tony. Mamaya sabi natin, pakita niya. Yung carded, he had some carded figures eh. Hindi natin masyadong makita. I think there was a delay on his part kaya hindi niya, hindi kami magkaintindihan. All right. All right. Yeah. So let's move on All with right. our next uh, presenter. So our, again, our next presenter uh, is also from down south, right? And is the admin of Retro Classic Vintage Toys Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jas Ordonez. Yeah, hey! Welcome, Jas. Jas. Well, Ayan. Good evening. Maganda hey. gabi, Jas. Kwentuhan uh, mo na kami. Okay. It's all yours. Mali first, first time kung gagawin to, so pasensya na kayo, ah. <laughs> so... Yan. I'm currently the admin of ano, Retro Classic Vintage Toys Philippines and yan. So in first slides go. Slide. slide please. Hopefully okay lang kayo lahat yan guys. Wait lang natin yung slide. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Mukhang may tech. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. okay. Take it away. Okay. That's our logo nga pala. Yung ba may logo na. Which is designed by my friend, uh, Sir Iman. Thank you nga pala. Shout out, Sir Iman, sa magandang logo na yan. Okay. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Yan, picture ko yan. Sa, siguro binalown up yan. So, later makikita nyo yung mga nasa likod. Hopefully, sana. By the way, I'm holding nga pala this Ultraman, vintage Ultraman gun. So, yan. Very nostalgic na lang. Okay. So, yan. Yung slide na yan, uh, uh, yung first picture, ano yan, uh, yan yung prior na mag, ano, na, na, na maging, ano, ko, vintage collector. Kasi nung time na yan, that, I think that was 2014, nung nilabas yung 40th anniversary ng Walt S5. So that time, I was into ano pa, hot toys pa, 1-6 scale. So the next picture na you will see, mga, ano ko yan, mga mates ko sa ano, sa 1-6 scale, sa ano, Pinoy 1-6, ano, group. Uh, dyan, dyan, si Blue, si Nakiko, and si Mark Chua, and Joel Bernardo, yan. During ano pa yan? Siguro, I think, 2016 ba? Ganun. Okay, next slide, please. Yan. Yung first picture, kasama ko si Direk Red yan. That's the time na I was into vintage 60s Joes. Talagang very overwhelmed ako sa kanya. Sobrang... Sobrang ganda niya, sobrang sobrang classic. So that's why nung nagkaroon ako niyan, nung nakuha ko sa kanya 'yan, na into vintage na talaga ako. So nag-diverse na ako, naging nahilig na ako dun sa mga sa mga robots, like Bioman, Voltis 5, Mazinger Z. So tinrack down ko lahat yung mga vintage toys ko na wala ako noon na 'yun. So 'yan. Next slide na yan, during, yan ang first uh, display ko sa Toycon. That was 2017, I think. My first Voltage 5 uh, display via ano, group na, I think, Voltage 5 Universe. Shoutout nga pala kay Jun. I hope you're watching. And then the next slide, yun yung mga Bioman collection ko kung naalala niyo yung mga Sentai uh, 80s 
a group na bioman so ayan yung mga collection ko yung mga bio dragon then yung ano ayan yung first picture na makikita nyo that was ah uh, yun yung mga first picture ko na yung first toys ko na talaga na acquire ng bata pa ako ah uh, yung first robot yun nga uh, uh, that was magic mike i think released 1984 actually kasi nandito siya eh ito Childhood toy ko to. Ayan. Nagtotok siya, battery operated. Then, the second slide. Sa second ano, picture, yan. Ito. Itong buff na, Voltus 5. Very rare na siya actually. Ayan. You can only get it pag kumain ka ng mga piso chichirya pa nung araw. So, you will collect it piece by piece. Free siya sa piso chichiria. Back in the 80s pa, I think, or late 80s. Ayan. So, very poorly detailed pa, pero okay naman. Very rare na rin siya hanapin, so... Ayan. Para up close niya makita. Okay. Oops, sorry. Ito. Ito naman yung blow mold na Voltus 5. Palengke toy din siya during 90s. Ayan. Okay, next slide please. Okay, next slide. Okay lang ba kayo, guys? <laughs> o nga pala, ito nga pala yung, ano, kung mapapansin nyo, may macros figure dyan na bootleg din. This is the SDF-1 na bootleg. Ayan. Very special to kasi ito yung first toy ko nung bata ako na preserve ko pa talaga during my childhood days. Sana hopefully makakuha ko ng carded one Ayan. Ayan. The next slide, yan yung ano uh, First vintage G.I. Joe's ko Then Yung second picture Yun yung First display namin Last 2019 uh, Toycon Sa retro classic vintage toys booth the first player is by collection by Papi Kevin. Papi Kevin, shout out sa'yo, bro. Then the second layer is from my daughter's collection. Hi, Jada, kung nag ka. For personal collection niya yan. Okay. Next slide, please. Tutor ko lang kayo, guys, sa mga collection ko, so... Mostly kasi bago lang ako sa collecting eh. So, yan. Yan yung logo namin. Okay. okay. Tutor ko lang kay sa pictures by pictures ng collection ko. Through the years. First kasi nag-start ako sa, as, ano eh, as a McFarlane figure collector. Then, yun nga, nag-branch out ako sa Cat Toys. Then, after nun, nung nirelease nga yung 40th anniversary ng Holtis 5, Doon ako nahook eh. Doon ako nahook sa vintage. So, yun na. Doon, yun na nag-start sa akin yung Voltis 5 figure na yun. So, parang nanumbalik yung pagka-eager ko sa mga past toys ko. As you can see, oh, may Voltis 5 poster and some other Voltis 5 figures. Bootleg Voltus 5 sword. Ayan. Okay. Next slide, sirs. Okay. 
yung first picture na nakikita nyo, yun yung ano namin. Yung, kung may time kayo, i-like nyo lang yung page namin. RCVT page. Uh, focus mostly siya sa vintage collection. 80s, 90s, early 90s. Yan. Okay. Thanks, Jules. Uh, no. Ayan. So, okay. very interesting ang yung, ang yung collection, uh, Jazz. Very uh, eclectic. Yung parang sari-sari. Parang, uh, parang I think you started out by saying that you first collected mga... Yung at that time, nung uh, early 2000s, yung mga mainstream toys, di ba? McFarlane. Uh, ano pa ba yun? Mga, may mga NECA na ba nun? O, pero eventually, parang nag, nag-reverse back in time ka, parang paluma ng paluma yung mga kinokonekta mo. Mm, yes, yes. Parang naging interesting kasi ako sa mga luma eh. So, with the help of Direct Red din and Sir Alfred, parang nag-throwback ako doon sa mga past toys eh. So, sobrang naging, ano, naging interested ako. Sobrang ganda niya kasi, sobrang classic. Sobrang ganda ng ng quality. Ayun. Okay. We can have... Yun. Yun. Yung jazz na ba nabanggit mo kanina, marami ka diyan yung mga galing sa mga chichiria. Tama? Yes, yes. Oh. So, so as in nabili mo yan nung mga panahon pa na yon at mamiso no. lang, sabi mo. No, actually, nung time na binili ko siya, Ah, uh, yung mga past toys ko talaga nawala na talaga siya. Recently ko lang kasi okay. na-acquire ko siguro 2 years ago. Nabili ko siya ng buo. So, Nabuna. pero before, pero before mahirap siya talagang buuin eh. So, piece oh by my. piece kakapain mo talaga siya eh. Kung 90s kid ka. Oh. <laughs> alam mo 'yun eh. Alam <laughs> so, mo, magaling tayong kaya, kaya precious sa akin 'to eh. Kaya 'yun. Oh. Na-overwhelmed ako nung nakita ko 'to naka-post. Tapos Nabuo na. 'Yun, nabuo siya. Yan. Sobrang so, ganda niya bago, kasi. Oh, bago pa pinauso ng Marvel at ng DC ulit ang buff, meron na noon ang mga chichiria. Yes, yes. Build the figure. Yes. Uh, <laughs> diba? Ganda yung galing, galing. Mm. Oh, tsaka retro yung kulay. Diba? Alam mong galing oh, sa retro. Uh, mm. right. Nauso okay. yan ulit nung Nung lumabas yung Power Rangers, di ba? Yung, ayan, as, as Jules uh, Deodoro commented, di ba? Pag kinok... I know Zord ba yun? O yung Mega Zord? <laughs> mm. Nausi yan ulit. So, it, that's yeah. really cool. Alright. Yeah. Ito, it, this is not the... even, this is just a small part of your collection, no, Jess? Yes, yes. yes. Yung part, ibang part ng collection ko nasa kabilang bahay, so... <laughs> Kasi ano eh, hindi ako naka-uwi doon dahil isa rin na akong frontliner eh. So alam mo naman, hmm. yun. Oo nga pala. Frontliner din pala si Jazz. Isa hmm, siyang yeah, pharmacy. Saludo. We, ha- we have heroes collecting saludo, super saludo, heroes. Jazz. Sayang nga kasi marami pa yes. akong papakita sa kanilang mga collection. On an actual basis talaga papakita ko sa kanila yung difference ng mga yung mga old toys sa new toys. Kaya lang, ito lang yun ah na dala ko eh. So, sayang. Yes. So, mm. kaya may, we, we have something to look forward to in the next Toy Con where I'm sure you'll have your displays and we can meet you there and talk about all the vintage and retro toys. Mm. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Jess. So, heart, thank you. Heart thank you. And... Thank you for having me. Yes. Later on, we have, uh, for all our guests, please stay tuned in. We have our all our guests later on for a Q&A, a quick powwow with all of them. And we'd like to remind everyone that the first 10 who type in their comments the I love ToyCon PH gets to get to win uh, the 10th anniversary ToyCon souvenir program. No? Flinash Kanina ni Cholo. A lot of a lot of articles there, a lot of good pictures from the, the, the souvenir program. So uh, please, that we're still looking for the top 10 who type toy. I love Toycon TV. Tama ba kapatid? Toycon TV yung type? I, I love Toycon TV. I think we already got yeah. several. So uh, congratulations. Later we'll, later on, we'll announce who won the uh, yan, itong mga vintage souvenir programs natin from Toycon 2011. Okay. Ganda, ganda. I, I hope that our Good. next speaker is already online. 
Ready ba siya? Ready na. Are we good? Ready. Are there's, we... Only, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Sige, <tingin natin. laughs> All right, kasi kanina he was uh, having some problems with this. Uh, yes, yes. Signal. A- ako rin, actually, I'm conking out every now and then. Uh, Good night. Conking out. Okay. Baka so, yeah. ano, signs of being vintage. <laughs> <laughs> yun ba yun? Yeah. Uh, pati yung signal, no? vintage. <laughs> pati yung signal, <laughs> nagpapa- oh, nagpapaka-vintage. <laughs> so, okay. but, uh, so we'll, well, we were saying our... Uh, next guest no, is the son of the late Alfredo P. Alcala. Of course, we all know who him as the comic artist. Uh, so we have with us this evening you know, Alfred Alcala Jr., who is also the founder uh, of the Philippi- Philippine Vintage Toy Collectors. No? And they're all celebrating their 10th anniversary this year. Yeah, dial up now. I can see the screen. Nagdadial up na si Alfred. Shaq, sana mag-work. Kasi we actually have not... Oh. Uh, ayan, wow. Meron yung so, two devices. <laughs> ayan, ayan. Okay. We're we picking wow. him up a bit. Alfred, can you hear us? Sir Alfred. Nako. Sige. Uh... It's Black Friday. Ayun! I finally see you. Yeah. I hope we can hear you. Ayan. Great, can you hear great, us? great to have you on the show. Good evening, Sir Alfred. Can, can you hear Ayan. us, sir? Fred, we can, we can see Ayan. you. Hello. Ayan. Okay. Sige. It's all yours. Sana. Nako, oh. wala. <laughs> What is happening? Okay. Mahirap talaga, no? Mahirap pang uh, technology kahit gano'n natin na <laughs> gustong uh... ayan. Okay, game! Ayan. Oh, can you uh, hear me? Loud and clear. Yes, ayan, yeah, alright. We're good to go. Yes, yes, we can hear you. We're good to go. Oh, sige. Salang na natin yung slides ni, uh, ni Alfred. Ayan. Otherwise, ka tayong magkukwento. O, yun. There you go. Oh, I think we yo, lost him yo. again. Did we lose him again? Oh, from you. <laughs> Naka-freeze from daw you, yung Joe, signal niya. To, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Sige, let's let's keep, uh, let's keep, itong, itong, ano ba, yung collection mo na na dyan, Chris, particularly hmm. the Ninja Turtles. Vintage yeah. ba yan? Hindi, all my vintage so, toys actually are still in my, you know, in my other house of Quezon City. These are the, ano, okay, the modern okay. versions, no? So, lahat ng vintage ah, so na sa... Reissued to lang dito lahat. All the vintage ones are in the other house. Okay. So, eh, I couldn't bring them here. Alam mo naman, ah, wow. CQ tayo. Yan. Oh. <laughs> Kapatid, okay. Okay. Kapatid, 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 okay. Ayan. Let's, uh, let, let's, ayan. Uy, okay. Sige, sige. Mamaya na, mamaya na natin ilabas yung PowerPoint uh, kasi wala pa si, uh, wala pa si Alfred. Maybe when, once we have him back, uh, let's, ano, let's, uh, uh, let's put his presentation up. Okay. Pero good question. The, alam mo, there was a time, kapatid, back, back in the late 90s, actually 1999, Merong uh, mga urban legends na uh, we could find uh, 1980 Star Wars toys sa Divisoria. So this was the during the the peak. Yes, at the peak of uh, the peak of uh, episode one. Di ba nung episode one? Okay. Medyo wild mga tao uh, because yeah, yeah. Uh, the episode one toys were out. 
and people were saying na you know what may mga nati- may mga natirang mga Star Wars toys from the 80s sa Divisoria and true enough uh, we got uh, some reliable uh, information i went to Divisoria this was in 2001 okay. 2002 nag toy hunting okay. ako sa Divisoria nakabili ako ng mask Alam mo yung mask na cartoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung mga kotse yeah, yeah. na nagiging oh. uh, na lumilipad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Diba? Yung uh, M-A-S-K. Ayun, mask. M-A-S-K, I found, yes. found one in Divisoria, but it wasn't the one wow. that... Yeah, oh, yung mask na cartoon, diba? Parang G.I. Mm. Joe, parang mask. Yes, yes. mask yun. So I found one, but it was a very obscure vehicle. It was not one of the more recognized ones. But I found that, and I found a Knight Rider... Turbo Boost set. Ito yung, Ay, yung ito, vintage you mean, to, ha? 80s. Oh, parang may Knight Rider na, na matchbox. Tapos pinapasok yes, mo siya sa isang, yung, ano? Parang trailer na ito yung tulak mo. Yeah, oh, launcher, launcher yeah. siya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knight yeah, yeah, yeah. Rider so, Turbo Boost set. Tapos nakahanap ako ng Penguin. Ito, ito. Yung Penguin na superpower. So, yun yun. True enough. Meron talaga okay. sa Divisor. Itong Penguin uh, Superpowers, naka-card to dati, carded to. I bought it in okay. Divisoria for 100 pesos. 100 Yun. pesos. So, that was back in the day, uh, early 2000s. So, yung Urban Legends, totoo talaga. So, so we yun. need to, uh, ano? Now, mm. oh, mahirap maghanap ng vintage toys ngayon. Uh, and you really have to pay, uh, di ba, uh, what's the expression? Yung parang... Well, you have to pay, pay big bucks to buy uh, <laughs> so, the, the, money, the vintage uh, from a, a, a vintage toy. Make me yeah, the uh, mga bagong places now like Northwest Collectibles sa Kamuning na hmm. it's a vintage toy store that sells records. Uh, but right. uh, we benta ng comics. Pero meron din daw silang toys every now and then. And of course, isa sa mga secrets ng mga vintage toy collectors are the Surplus shops. I think, ano yung, ano yung pinakasikat? HMR ba? Surplus HMR. shops. HMR. Yan, nakakaminsan. Oh, sa Cubao. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sa Cubao. Yun. Mas lalo na nung yes, time yes. na hindi pa ginagawa. Ayan. O yun, ayan si Alfred. Ayan. Okay. Oh. So, <laughs> very good. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Ayan. Sige. Yes, sir. Fred. Yeah. There. Uh, can hear you. Pag na-disable. Ayan. If you, you think I'm oh. disables, I'll just talk. Sure, sure. We'll, we'll, we'd love to hear your story. Okay, yes, yes, sir. Okay, let's show Great. the let's show the slides. Okay, okay. pakita na natin yung slides ni Alfred. Sige, yes, sir. Take it away. Otherwise, tayo oh. magkakwento ng slides. Okay, go, go, Alfred. <laughs> uh, okay, okay I, let's see, the I don't part. see the slide yet. Oo nga, sige, sige. May lag din tayo. Pati yung PowerPoint natin may lag. Ayan. Ayan. Nalag-lag din yung mga toys ko. Okay. Anyway, the how first... Are you, how are you doing, uh, uh, Sir Alfred? Uh, so far, holding up here is uh, it's a bit of a struggle. Yeah. It can go out. Wow. And it's too hot. Exactly. Oo. Oh. Mahinit so, nga. Yeah, o nga eh. And then, Buti hindi nag-brown out dyan, no? Are you in the house where your toy collection is? Everything t- t- tonight. O nga, o nga. Yes, but man. unfortunately we're Sorry. doing some general cleaning. So some of my boxes are in, in storage. So. Okay. Anyway, so is, is the slide ready? Or that siguro... <laughs> Sir Alfred, kwentuhan mo na muna kami. We can hear you li- ra- oh, nice and clear. Well, the, the, yes. the slides will follow. Sige. Anyway. Uh, Sige. Kwento ka muna, Alfred. Kwento muna. I've been with Toycon since the fifth Toycon, uh, exhibiting my dad's works, his comic illustrations. And then I've noticed there were some exhibits of uh, several toy groups. And then after three or four years, I, it dawned upon me to how come there are no old toys in the exhibit? And mm-hmm. 
No, wow. I think we will also lost the audio of uh, no, Sir Alfred. Ah, too bad. Medyo hirap talaga, no? Hirap oh. talaga ng music. <laughs> oh, sige. Let's try to get him our next guest first. Sige. Uh, so, again, to, to, well, to our... Who, who do we have here now? Introduce, introduce muna natin yung, ano, yung uh, next guest natin. Okay. So, I will get again to our audience again. Uh, please bear with us. I, I think the weather is causing all the intermittent signals, no? Uh, but just like all the heroes we love, we will not give up. Tama, kapatid? That's right, diba? that's right. Tama. So we'll, we'll go first to our uh, fourth guest, and, we, and hopefully we can get back to our third guest. So our fourth guest is a renowned director. Mm -hmm. uh, many know him as uh, Raymond Gred. In, in the cinema world, but in the toy world, is Rain Man, like Rain Man Red. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's also the admin of Manila G.I. Joe Collector Yay. Circle and is the co-admin also with our previous guests uh, of the Philippine Vintage Toy Collectors FB page. And there he is sporting a very beautiful mohawk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you know, yes. Good evening, Sir Rain Man. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the show. Yeah, direct for kita me. matawag na Rain Man. Talagang direct. Welcome oh. to the show. Sige, sir. Basta sa lahat. As you can see, well, naubusan na ng gagawin eh. So, start playing around with your own haircut, no? It's a common thing now. Uh, I'll wait for you. So, tonight, uh, it will be interesting to talk about something different from my career no which is toys naman uh, something i've been collecting for a long time now no? uh, okay so we have the slides now no uh so i'm raymond rain man red i, I use that handle online uh everywhere but it's my international connections so i i use that name and i'm the admin of the Manila G.I. Joe Collector Circle uh, on Facebook. Oh, let me do it in. And uh, I put the logo of uh, Philippine Vintage Toy toy Collectors also. No? Kasi co-admin ako ni Alfred Alcala. Uh, so that next slide, uh, I, I put that there to establish na I, I was really into collecting uh, curio items, antique items. No? Particularly cameras, photographs, uh, movies, of course, no? And on time neon VHS and laser disc and so I was really into collectibles na but I wasn't into toys no 70s kid ako eh but nung 80s filmmaker na ako so mas seryoso hindi ko na iniisip ang toy so parang ang toy sa akin are cameras and uh, you know uh, props that I use in films no pati mga brothers ko they're really into it I, I my brother was a production designer Danny Red even uh, restores vintage cars no uh so anyway in, the, in this next slide you'll you'll see this uh, red tin car on the upper left uh i put that there kasi yan ang nag start sa akin into toy so i was into collectibles but by uh, 1993 i saw this really nice looking tin car so from that point on para na fascinated ako sa toys oh, I got and uh uh Nakakita rin ako ng magazines, collecting toys, you know? And uh, yung collecting toys, talagang, ano, I was bitten by the bug, no? I, I got fascinated back into toys and I realized I was missing a lot, no? Uh, uh, there's an image there on the magazine. Yan ang talagang nag, nag you know, uh, bite sa akin. The, the image of new 12-inch G.I. Joes, no? So G.I. Joe's had shrunk in the 80s as a uh, three and three fourth inch uh, figures, real American hero. Bumalik pala siya nung 90s because it was celebrating the 30th anniversary. So hindi ko alam na bumalik siya nung 1995. Nakita ko yung magazine na yan. And yun na, nahook na ako. Sa, parang talagang nabasa ko yung magazines. I realized maganda pala mag-collect ng toys. No? So yun na, uh, dumami na from one car to 
a dozen to a hundred and so on. And then the GI Joes also. So next slide. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, may, may slight delay tayo, no? I'm, I'm waiting for the next slide, huh? <laughs> anyway, since since I talked about the magazines, uh, what's amusing is even the Collecting Toys magazines na defunct na ngayon, it's not being published, naging collectible na siya. I've, I've, I've been collecting the issues, no? all the issues that were published back in the 90s. So collector's item na rin yung magazine itself, no? So next slide. Next slide. Uh, slight delay tayo. Ah. <laughs> next slide. Okay. Uh, habang from my screen, uh, the, the slide hasn't moved. Huh? So anyway, uh, from that point on, nga, I got really hooked sa vintage G.I. Joe. So the reason for that was uh, it was a toy I was very familiar with back in the 1970s. Uh, it actually started in the 1960s. No? And I never had one. Lahat ng mga classmates ko, naingit ako, they were bringing their G.I. Joes in school. No? But I never had one. I, I had a cheaper action figure, uh, Johnny Hero. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's a sports uh, figure that can wear baseball uniform, football uniform. So yun lang ang parang action figure ko. But the G.I. Joe was really fascinating no? kasi it's fully poseable. And of course, when I remembered the history of it, uh, that that really got me hooked, no? Because I realized the G.I. Joe is recognized as really the father of action figures, no? Uh, some people might debate there were already figures before 1964. 1964, your first G.I. Joe. There were already some articulated figures uh, back in the 30s. I think there was even a Superman wooden doll that had articulation, no? But the, the thing is, the reason why G.I. Joe is the father, it's the first product, it's the first toy that really grabbed on the word action and action figure. They were the first to really use that. And then the articulation of G.I. Joe was, was talagang uh, maraming points, 21 points of articulation, no? the joint. So you can really pose it in uh, many different positions. So it really started a category a new toy category, which was action figures. And dyan na coin yung term na yun. And, and that really started it all. So from that point on, many other toy makers started making action figures. Uh, anyway, so in, in, in this image, you know, uh, uh, I'm part of the vintage toy collectors, which uh, uh, Alfred nga established uh, officially noong 2010 lang. But before that, uh, there were a lot of us collecting vintage toys. In fact, uh, one of the uh, talagang foremost collectors na nakilala ko, si Mike Nicholas, who had a shop called Siglo. And I also knew Alex Villanueva, who had a uh, Circa in Shangri-La. No? And then I, I already knew, ano, natuwa nga ako sa stories nila Cholo, nila as uh, si, si Lalu. No? Uh, they, were, they had a uh, store... Uh, called Orient Express in Shangri-La. And so, tumatambay na ako doon, 1996, no? I already had collections. And then, I, I went to those shops, and then I realized they were organizing Collecticon. So, the, that upper right uh, photo in, the, in that slide, that's us in Collecticon. We already attended the Collecticon. It's at the food court uh, basement, you know? And then, the one on the lower left, the, I think that's the 1999... Uh, toys and Collectibles Convention na ba ang tawag? It wasn't toy con yet eh, but uh, kayo na yan, Cholo eh. Kayo nila, Vic na yata nag-organize yan at SM Mega Mall. So we were already there. We called ourselves Manila Joes for short. No? Uh, next slide. There. So yan yung naging obsession ko talaga, the first generation of G.I. Joes. 
no, uh, Marine, uh, Air Force, uh, Navy, and then the Army, no, the soldiers. So, kinolek ko lahat yan, no? uh, Next slide. And then, uh, very few people know na the, that toy was so successful in the 60s that by the 70s, a lot of licensees all over the world uh, started producing uh, variations of it. No? On the left, you will see the Takara G.I. Joe from Japan. Makikita niyo yung face. It kind of looks anime. The Gaperman, Haperman is actually Spanish. No? That's in Spain. This action team is in Germany. It was also released in Italy. And Action Man was uh, United Kingdom, no? British. Uh, next slide. So yun, uh, na-obsessed na lang ako, dumami yung collection ko, I just kept buying and there were many uniforms. So you you can dress them up in different adventure-themed uniforms. And in the 70s, they had this lifelike hair, I, as they said, no, no, fuzz fuzz hair, it, it's, it's like real with beard. And then they had these rubber gripping hands called Kung Fu Grip. No? So the term Kung Fu Grip became very popular back then, of course. It was popularized by Bruce Lee in the early 70s, Entered the Dragon. You know? uh, and then I also branched out into the 3 and 3 fourth, even though hindi ko generation, I started buying some of that also. No? Next slide. Ayun, so no, nag out of control na yung collection ko. I, you can see in that photo, I collect all sorts of stuff na. May die cast cars, uh, model kits. Uh, lunch boxes, they're all vintage from the 70s and 1960s. No? And then in those glass cabinets are the G.I. Joes. On the right, yung mga tin robots, tin cars, uh, mostly you know, wind-up toys, battery-operated, all sorts of toys. And tuwan-tuwa ako nilalagay ko sa uh, antique cabinet din. No? So yun, uh, I just went wild now. I started collecting all these uh, vintage toys. No? Uh, next slide. And yeah, makikita nyo, I, I, I tried utilizing any space I could at home, no? mga cabinets, punong-puno na. Wala na space to display them. So a lot of my collection now are in plastic boxes, plastic crates. No? Uh, there's just not enough space to display them. Uh, actually, right now I'm in quarantine in Laguna, but most of my collection is in Makati in my apartment. So... Wala nga ako mapakita dito. The, the toys you might see here in the background are toys of my uh, son. No? Uh, next slide. Ayun, so the, the, the news about my collection uh, spread you know, through some circles and I was invited to exhibit the collection at the Lopez Museum. So actually this was in a in a formal museum. I never thought my toys would be exhibited in a formal museum. No? So this was early 2000s, I think 2002. No? So, na exhibit na siya sa and then after that, we were featured in magazines. No? So, na, napakita ko na rin collections ko. But, but I tend to be very private. I, I ko nga actually ipakita. But, yun, na feature na rin sa magazines. No? Uh, next slide. Tapos yun, syempre, we continue joining the ToyCon, no? Uh, sa amin, talagang exciting event at ToyCon, very helpful in uh, spreading the interest in the hobby, no? It's it's really a way of uh, encouraging other collectors. So, ako sumasali ako, exhibiting the toys, you know? We're not really selling, we're just exhibiting. It's really to generate more uh, interest, to, to get more collectors interested in na kwento nga ni Jazz kanina, na-influence ko siya, no? nakita niya yung collections namin. So, tapos nagko-collaborate na kami with the other groups, no? like Toy Soldier 118, sila Glenn Mark Antonio, sila uh, Dan Enriquez, and, and so on. Ano? Na naging buddies na namin sila, kasi G.I. Joe din sila, but they were collecting the small ones, we were the big ones, na so nagko-collaborate. And then I sometimes uh, put it also in the vintage toy cabinet, no? so like in this photo. No? Uh, next slide. And then, uh, yun, we were very thankful sa ToyCon na noong 2014, they acknowledged the fact that G.I. Joe was celebrating the 50th anniversary. Kasi nga, 1964, the first 12-inch uh, G.I. Joe, 
And then 2014, so 50 years na siya nung time na yun, inalaw nila kami to have two glass cabinets and we placed a TV monitor in the middle to show vintage commercials of the early G.I. Joe, no? yung classic G.I. Joe from 60s and 1970s. So th- that was really an exciting year for us. No? Yun yung culmination ng lahat ng efforts namin to put together the the collection. And marami ng collectors uh, nung early years, no, we, we even had the, the late Papa Dom, uh, Dominic Gamboa, you know, he was a member of us, kasama ko sila, Jerry Terona, we've been, you know, we, we go way back nung panahon na yon sa Collecticon pa in 1996-97, mga kasama ko na sila, no, and uh, si Abet Anido, and, and many others, there were many members, no, uh, very active in contributing to the exhibit, but very few of us had the time to really put up the exhibit, no, so next slide. So yon tapos yun nga sa toy con ko na na meet si Alfred you will you see him in the lower left photo there. Ayan nag nag, uh, nag to toy hunt and uh, vinyl hunting kami sa Northwest Collectibles no. On the upper photo there's Jerry Terona, there's Glenn no, Glenn Mark Antonio and but because we collaborate now with the uh, 3 and 3 fourth collectors no. And uh, yun, mag-focus na rin kami sa cabinet ng vintage toy collectors talaga ever since, for 10 years now. Next slide. And uh, ito na yung last slide ko. So ito yung collection ko. But you know, this this display doesn't exist anymore, sadly. Uh, wala na akong space. I, I put them in crates. So I don't know where I'm going to bring my collecting next because I have, I have over 200 vintage Joes and I lost count of the new ones. No? So I focus on vintage only and vintage theme. So binibili ko lang yung bagong toys na remind me of the vintage. So reissues, you know, reproductions, stuff like that. But as much as I can, I focus my collecting talaga on real vintage toys, no? pure vintage. And me- medyo snub nga ako eh kasi Sa akin ang vintage dati hanggang 1970s lang eh. I, I started to incorporate na rin 1980s. And then the Vintage Toys Philippines uh, group is uh, actually considering up to the 90s. No? So exciting din yun. I'm a member of that group also. So walang conflict doon. So yun, maganda na generate talaga yung interest ng vintage toys. No? So yun, yun yung presentation ko. I... Uh, if you have questions later on, no, so uh, sabi nyo lang, and uh, I think may may parafol ba tayo? Ah, pa contest, sorry, later, no, so mga ask questions. Sige, that's it. All right, thank you wow. very much. Ganda, ganda, ganda ng mga retro GI Joes, no. <laughs> Ayan. Direct, si uh, sinong character ang unang una mo again? Sino yung unang G.I. Joe character that you that you acquired? Uh, yung 12-inch kasi, when they came out, walang characters eh. He's just named Walang G.I. pangalan. Oh, and then you just buy it either Army, Navy, Air Force, gano'n yan eh. Okay, okay. Tapos na naging adventure team yan noong 70s, sinatawag na Air Adventurer, Land Adventurer. Parang gano'n, inalist nila yung military team, no? Kasi naging unpopular ang military. Oh. Kaya ginawa ko adventurer yan, yung, yung may buhok na yung Kung Fu Grip 70s. No? Yes. So yun ang focus ko. But yun nga, when I got into collecting, I started collecting sila Duke, yun, sila Roadblock, and all, all those little guys. No? Uh, I'm not yeah. an expert on it, eh, pero na-influence yeah. din ako. Eh, yeah, yeah I, I met yeah, <laughs> the guy, Toy Soldier 118, and all these other collectors ng 3 and 3 Fort. So nag-meet kami sa Toy Con. Eh, so na influence ako. I started collecting a few and I have them in the collector uh, figure case. No? Tapos, right. direct, do, you, do you have a no? Do you have doubles of your GI Joes? Like I, some of them you keep in box. Then pan sinko that some of them you display na na loose. Ani yon? Depende lang ba kung anong mahanap mo or in what condition if they are boxed or. Uh, hindi naman ako masyadong completist. You know, even though I already have 200 vintage Joes, hindi ko pa nakakomplete. Wow, so 200. Vintage. I mean, they look alike. It's the same face, pero yung Uh-oh. uniforms na nagkabago eh. So, kung completest ka, you want a figure 
in each uniform. And there's just too many. I can't complete it. Masyado mahal. So, <laughs> I, I try to buy some on uh, inbox. Yung, yung vintage G.I. Joe kasi hindi sealed eh. It's a coffin box. You can open it. So, you right, can use right. it in box eh. Pero, you know, you can buy some na minty, very clean figure, you know. Uh, and then the reproductions that are coming out now, there was a 40th anniversary G.I. Joe exact replica. You, know, you can buy it. Wow. So I, I, I buy those also. Uh, yun, hindi ko pa I, I have to start counting. I have to start getting out the boxes and crates again to count them. <laughs> oh, sorry. How do you take care of the Joes? Parang, papan, an, how do you make sure na, you know, you get to preserve them uh, especially since you know, technically they go back 40 plus years kung tutuusin? Yeah, it's, it's very difficult. The plastics kasi they crack. Eh. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, it's amazing. The original vintage, they have some cracks, no? Pero parang, parang tumigil na. May, may crack hanggang okay. to na lang. Uh, because of age, huh? not because of play wear. Uh, mm. But it's funny, I've been buying the reproductions, which obviously are now made in China. And uh -huh. in just three or four years, they had bigger cracks than the vintage. arms, mga reproductions. So, realize mo ang pangit ng quality ng new plastics. The plastic mm. used uh, for the original G.I. Joe, it was made in U.S. Eh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. Iba eh. So, yeah. sa tagal ng panahon, nagkakar ng crack, but it doesn't fall apart. May, may question kanina that was flashed on the screen. I think si Uwe Bennett nagpadala. Ano daw ang holy grail mo when it comes to uh, G.I. Job? Either something that you already own or something that you still have to find. What is the G.I. Job holy grail? Ah, actually, sa collectors, it's funny. The, the holy grail is the G.I. Job nurse that came out in 1967. Wow. The reason why mm. it's the Holy Nerds. Grail, it's so rare because it didn't sell very well. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it lasted a year. Nobody wanted to buy it. No? Kasi syempre, the boys didn't want so, to be called. Hindi walang pwedeng maging nurse ng isang baba lalaki at that time. Kasi during that time nga, ang Hasbro, they're saying, was never call him a doll. He's an action figure. He's you know, an action figure. Yeah. The term became right. very popular. So when the nurse came out, nobody wanted to buy it. And the, the girls naman, they didn't want to buy it because they had Barbies already. So, so no wala siya sa market. So now, collectors are looking for it. And so if you find it mint in box, they sell for like three, four thousand dollars $4,000. Wow. I think $5,000. Depende sa condition ng box. No? Uh, in demand. Masyadong prohibitive yung price. Na. Ang holy grail sa akin, the second is the... Uh, now politically incorrect not to use the term, but during that time they used the word Negro, no? meaning wow. the black okay. Af African American GI Joe. That was printed mm -hmm. on the box, Negro. Uh, Negro. There, there was a word oh, wow. Negro sticker nai up to the <laughs> early seventies, no. Uh, okay. And and the uh, holy grail sa akin yung yung first black GI Joe nga. Black GI Joe. Nineteen sixty five. Nineteen sixty five. The babas. Eh, kasi it looks funny. He looks exactly mm -hmm. like the Caucasian, but they molded it in brown plastic. So, <laughs> Negro na siya, but yun yung hair niya. He looks Caucasian. Oh, pero the, the, the mold. You feature yeah, siya. Caucasian so, pa rin. Nice. Bumenta yeah, siya, but not then as popular as the Caucasian Joes. And that's why it's rare. Mm -hmm. I have three of those already. <laughs> wow. 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 Very so, nice. With box. Oh. So, with, pag may box siya, medyo mataas ang value. I, right. I, I, that's why it's rare in the world because you have three of them. <laughs> really? Okay, American collectors, grab it. Like, like a dozen or I don't know, they have it, grab it. Tapos you really go right. out of your way direct to find these, uh, no, no, these uh, GI Joes. Because I, I can imagine they're not available locally anymore. Kahit pumunta kang Northwest Collectibles, on a good day, wala ka makikitang GI Joe in a box, di ba? So talagang ikaw you go sometimes you go abroad uh, you do your toy hunting there ano bang pinaka masagana mong uh, what is the place i guess in the US that uh, you find there are the most uh, Joes 
to buy you know, itong mga vintage Joes. Marami. Kasi sa US, marami sa dragang vintage. Di ba? There are a lot okay. of toy shops. Uh, the last time I went there, November last year, mm-hmm. I went to that feature in, uh, in Pawn Stars. Di ba? That oh, yeah. Yeah. Pawn Stars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ako. Really? I bought one. Nakakita ko na isang G.I. Joe doon in box. Wow, uh, wow. It's medyo pricey kasi commercial na yung prices nila. But I bought it anyway just for the heck of it. <laughs> wow. Para masabi ko nakabili na ako sa toy shop. <laughs> so wala, wala sila uh, doon parang mga... mga otherwise, mga, sa eBay. eBay ko nakukuha. eBay, online. Wala silang divisoria doon. Yung parang tipong flea market type of uh, diba, uh, places to hunt for toys. Meron din, but they, they have old flea markets. And parang dito rin, swertehan, but syempre mas marami doon, di ba? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I've, I've found a few locally. You know, wow. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, five, only 5% of my collection locally na hanap. Five, maybe wow. up, to 10, up to 10%. Yeah. Swerte, swerte so, yung mga yeah. ganoon. Yan yung mga ano, yan ang mga uh, dream ng mga collectors, particularly the vintage collectors. Kaya nga, I, I think some of us are really hooked on yung mga shows like The Picker, di ba? Uh, Toy Hunter, yeah. because they really go out of their way to do their research, to find where, di ba, around the country they need to go. Kasi sometimes, you, who, you never know, there are uh, people who collect these things, but they're based not in Manila, di ba, but in the provinces. So, uh, yeah. I mean, we all love those shows, no? Because it, right, right. it helps generate uh, more interest uh, in the hobby and gives information. But on the downside, may, some people complain they drive up the prices. Because <laughs> 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 the shows na yun, they they say the the premium the price. price eh. actual, okay, right. wala fixed, it's not written on stone. These are old items, eh? Diba? They're not retail mm-hmm. items, ha? so wala namang strict rule on the game price. Eh? So, ang magda-drive ng price yan is demand, di ba? In collectors. And what nice. you're willing to pay. Sige. Let's bring in the uh, other right. guest siguro at this point, Chris. Yeah, sure. So, we'll have... Uh, unfortunately, no, we had some problems talaga connecting uh, with Mr. Fred Alcala. No? So, we, we apologize for that. We'll find a way to bring him back. But let's have Doc Tony and Sir Jazz back. Yeah, na kompleto ang ating... Panel. Again, yung mga collection po nila ang vintage, hindi sila. Just to clarify. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Tama yun, Doc. Uh, 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 so, maybe let, we'll, we'll, let's, put on let's some get some questions. questions. Yeah, let's flash yes. some questions on the screen. Uh, and see kung ano yung mga tanong from our uh, viewers. And there are uh, quite a lot of you. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, okay, let's uh, find some questions uh, and flash them on our uh, our monitors. Maybe maybe just to start off. So natanong na natin si Doc Tony, uh, si Jazz. Jazz, ano ang iyong uh, ano ang iyong pinaka prized possession in your collection? Yung mga talaga hindi mo bibitawan. Kung pagkasunog sa bahay mo, yun yung uno mong tatangayin. Anong ano yun? Uh, siguro yung bioman set ko na ano na nakabox. Actually, wow. ganito siya. Yung mga ganito. Uh, uh, wow. Diecast siya. This is the local yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Local nice. version to eh. Pero yung nasa bahay, yun yung talagang poppy version na Japan na may box pa siya. So, yun. Siguro... Komplet, kompleto mo yan, Jazz. Yung, oh, yung lima. Oh, oh, yung lima. Actually, anim siya eh. And, kasi yung, pa, anim? yung yellow four kasi, di ba namatay yung original yellow four? four so... Oh. Uh, so, naging dalawa siya. So, yung na-complete ko yung ano, anim na box. Yung dalawang ba- version okay. ng ano, ng Yellow 4. So, ng Yellow 4. Oo. Oh. Pati yung mga barrel, may barrel yan, di ba? Oh, may barrel complete siya. Actually, yung nasa akin na to, ano to eh, uh, locally made. Parang bootleg siya or okay. ano, pero I think Taiwan release siya eh. Pero yung iba, tawag nila bootleg uh, bioman na diecast. Oh. Kasi de- wala siyang markings eh. Oh, mabigat yeah, yeah, yeah. Wala siyang mabigat markings. Yan. Pero and, uh, same quality rin. Alright. Oh, yeah, no, we, we have a question from Celeste. Uh, how do you display, store, and preserve your vintage toy collections? 
Especially a lot Siguro, of them yeah. are, uh, di ba? They're they're not weatherproof, kasi nga, kasi nga some of them. Ito, they, because of the time that has passed since the time that they were manufactured, they're very uh, sensitive, di ba? So how do you how do you preserve your toy collections, Doc? Doc, narinig mo na ba kami? How do you dis How do you display your uh, vintage toys? Ayan, may delay talaga kay Doc. Okay, okay. Or, okay uh, may delay uh, tolo eh. So. Yan Doc, how do you display um, and preserve? For me, for me, for me, ang uh, I display uh, naka, oh, talagang delay eh. Uh, so, ang ginagawa ko usually, uh, an indoor, Indoor, unlighted yung display area unless somebody wants to look at it. So, so you only... Yun usually you yung only, ito eh, yung ginagawa ko eh. Uh, eh. Better kung I leave it inside the box. <laughs> uh, they kind of... Super fast <laughs> becomes yellow when exposed to sunlight eh. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you get All to right. clean your toys? Uh, ikaw direct. Do you get to clean your toys, uh, especially the loose ones? And, and there was a question, Kanina. How do you prevent that? You parang degra degradation of the plastic uh, in time. Ah, yeah. Uh, so, si Roland Dane Carion is asking. Oh, because. Plastics talaga, there are different types of plastics, eh, so you never really know. No? Tapos yung rubber, minsan nag, nagiging powder pa yan, eh, mm. depending on the kind of rubber. No? So yung mga joints nag-deteriorate talaga. So may things na hindi natin mape-prevent, but uh, you just keep the toys in a dry, cool place. No? So kung nakatago sila in crates, if hindi or hindi air-conditioned ng room nyo, at least, you know, dry, cool na place sa plastic crates and then tapos may I forgot the chemical they, they put a chemical on on a uh, parchment paper or something that you can place inside the plastic boxes may prevent yung mold eh sorry ah, na, na, nakalimutan ko anong chemical yun eh baka you can do the mm. nilalagay lang sa paper thick paper tapos ilagagawin mo lining lang it prevents molds tapos I, I read the question yung ito yung uh, paano yung remedy naman yung nag-yellow na yung plastics? Uh, depending on the plastic din, ano? But uh, usually, they you use ano yung hydrogen per peroxide. You know that? Uh, uh, oh, you, yeah. you, you mix it with half water. Uh -huh. in, in a jar, ano? And then put that toy, kung kasya yung toy sa loob. And then put in daylight. Parang bleach mo, parang ganun. Essentially, but, uh, it's agua and water. Uh, oh. Through patience, no, several days, mitam babalik sa sa white or clear yung mga nag yellow na plastic. Yes. Uh, actually, or, may naiwan ako sa apartment ko sa Makati. <laughs> Kaya lang more than 50 days na. I, I hope hindi na to yung plastic. <laughs> e, I hope so too. E, kaso na, na quarantine ako dito, nasa lagoon na. Quarantine. I don't know ano na nangyari sa plastics nun. I think may Yun. nilagay pa akong Mr. Miyagi, Karate Kid. <laughs> di ba, white yung body niyan eh. nag yellow na yung figure ko ngayon. Nilagay ko sa jar na gano'n. Iniwan ko. Ayun, na-quarantine sila doon. I hope hindi siya na-lose up. Baka, baka nag-mutate na sila. <laughs> but, yeah, no, one, some of our, a couple of our viewers uh, recommend using silica gel. Kasi nga, it, it uh, absorbs uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ano, uh, moisture. moisture. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Uy, maganda, yung tanong, maganda yung tanong ni Lex on the screen. Uh, yeah. Merong Pinoy made vintage toys. I think si Jazz kanina was telling us na yung mga Voltes 5 na, na meron siya, binili niya sa palengke. I also know for a fact na yung mga yung mga toys, yung mga, what you call those bootleg toys that we used to buy sa mga palengke lang, medyo nag-appreciate na rin yan in value, particularly if you bought you bought those back in the 80s, di ba? Uh, tama ba, Jazz? Like yung Voltage 5 na pinakita mong yan. Mm -hmm. Correct. 
Hindi na kasi, basta basta nabibili. Mm. <clears throat> kasi ano siya eh, uh, uh, very hard to find na siya ngayon nowadays. Talagang ano, uh, mahirap na siyang hanapin. Lalo na pag complete yeah. yung, yung mga parts niya. Try nyo na mga salita siya. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we, we were, Sir Alfred is trying to get Sir Alfred it. was able to join us via voice. No? Sir Alfred, okay. magandang gabi. <coughs> Sir Alfred, Hi, good, good evening. Ka. Good evening, ayan. Uh, loud and least, good evening, loud, loud and clear. Loud and clear. Pero kahit wala tayong video ni Alfred, oh, welcome to the show. Uh, ano, ihabol pa ba natin si Alfred? Pwede pa natin, pwede pa natin pa-present is okay. Oh, habol niyo, habol niyo. Sige, sige. All right. Sige, hmm. baka we can uh, we can just show show some of uh Alfred's slides kasi uh, he also worked on and I'm also I would also be very interested to see uh yung collection ni uh, Alfred kasi I'm pretty sure it's not it's not all uh, toys. Diba? Uh, so yeah, let's uh let's show some of the slides. Maybe let's just keep everybody on on the screen. Ayan. Uh Direk Raymond, you you work very close. Okay, take it away, Sir Alfred. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yes, thank you for uh, keeping me up. You know, when I was all that, when I internet, cell phones, laptop, that, boomy bit away. Anyway, ah, uh, here's well, there. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. To get to the yes. Okay, so this is our logo founded in 2010. And it shows the Space Patrol and Robbie the Robot. Next slide. We're just presenting the toys we grew up with. So in the next slide. Next, please. Next piece. Next slide. Uh, hello. Next slide. Yeah. Yeah. But these are the toys we grew up with, not necessarily your my own, but this photo shows what we usually no as vintage toys, but it's not limited to this, and I'll show you why. And most war toys were usually made in USA and occupied Japan. And can you make it slowly? Can you go back uh, two or three slides? Uh, so anyway... Like, there was a Gigantor, the, the Batmobile. The Batmobile was really a popular toy back then because it was uh, something that children can relate to. And by the way, I'm just, believe in vintage toys, is not limited to, uh, to teen toys or it's from post-war up to 1986. Why 1986? Because by 1987, the market was open here in the Philippines and toys were flooding the market already. So toys were not that common back then. It was very expensive and very hard to get by. Anyway, back to Batmobile. Uh, I really had one as a child. Or you had a hand me down from your Tito or from your dad. It was very popular back then with the uh, water gun, the mask, everything, Batman related items. Uh, the first ro like, the first robot film that was popular was Robin the Robot from the Forbidden Planet. <clears throat> it was released in 1956 and the toys came out, I think, two or three years afterwards. <coughs> and 
by 1966, uh, 10 years after the movie, Japan sent uh, their first anime robot show entitled Gigantor here in Manila and in the U.S. But in Japan, it was called Tetsujin 28 Go. <coughs> just, a, just a basic gas tank type robot, but with no very little articulation. So, so, so Gigantor is considered the first mega giant robot. Not, not a droid, not a sidekick. He was the hero. Next slide is... Oh. As you can see, these were the popular toys back then. It was cheaper than the robots. These were the teen cars. They were either friction, pullback, or just or bump and go, battery operated. And usually they last a year if they're not being played during the wet season. This usually gets rusted. And aside from cars, there were trains. The popular na train toy was the Lionel train because it was very uh, detailed. And there was smoke coming out from the steam engine, and then there was the trolley, the teen trolley. The teen trolley was popular here because back then, we had the Trambia, Flying Taft, uh, Pedro Hill, Pasig, uh, some mode of transportation back then, from the popular back in the 40s, 50s, and early 60s. Uh, to answer the demand for the trains, the Japanese also released their thin trains, which was cheaper than the Lionel trains. Cheaper because it was nearer than the U.S. geographically, so, and it was made of tin, not die cast like lead or zinc. Then, another popular toy which was very sturdy, very useful, keeps us fed, uh, serves as a small chair for the Aladdin lunch boxes. The Aladdin lunch boxes were based on TV shows, popular TV shows like that of the giant show near Kung Fu, Time, uh, Time Tunnel, and of course the comic book heroes, Marvel and DC, and movie like the uh, one Shonen Buck Rogers. Usually you see this in during the set and last time being thrown around, being this is a weapon against each other, but we're, boys were just playing with it. So, matibay siya, kahit ihampas mo nang ihampas. Yung lunchbox, but not the thermos. The thermos had, uh, was a vacuum, vacuum thermos. It has glass inside, so delikado ng iham. Siya, iba to. Now, this is what we call, what, what was then called as boys dolls, 50s and early 60s. The boys dolls were, were made by Marx and other companies. And the, the word action figure was coined by Mattel for their G.I. Joe lines. And then of course, during the popularity of the space age, rockets, spaceship, and UFOs, the 
Japanese made teen toys and the most popular was the Space Patrol. This was a very this was a very noisy toy. It was a pump and no battery operated toy with moving arms of the pilot and flashing lights, steam. And oops, in the black ones. I'm going back. Those are marks. If you notice the pink Batman, it was popular back then because it was used as a letterhead or on the background for the comics, the pink. Color. Uh, now we're back to the space, but the, the popular UFO type of toy. It was a bump and go. There were lights running around the edges, and sometimes steam, and sometimes you get a bit scratched. Kasi nga lata. I'm not going to detail who made what, who made uh, the company. We'll take another episode to discuss all of the Japanese brands. <clears throat> now, that was by the 1960s up to the early <clears throat> 70s. Then another influence that came, because during this time, early 70s, 60s, uh, late, mid 70s. The typical cartoons was Flintstones, Tom and Jerry, Popeye, Moby Dick, Mitor, Casper, Funky Phantom. Then came the Mega Invasion in 1978. This was a first or a kind of a breakthrough in Philippine uh, TV because it fired up the imagination of the boys. It kept the boys inside from 6 p.m. to 6.30 every day, every weekday, and during afternoons. But with all this uh, mega invasion only lasted for 15 months because it started in May 1970 and ended in August 1979 when it was banned. All Japanese cartoons and live action shows were too violent for the elders, but uh, one one show was spared from the chopping block, which is was Battle of the Planets, because it was an American produced cartoon show, but it was really an anime show. Still, we still consider this Japanese. From the cartoons came the toys, the LPs statues and everything in between so but by 1979 it was slowly fading when it was banned <clears throat> next slide please so by 1980 Another robot was released. This was the Saturn robot. Another Hong Kong type or Japanese look robot, but it was popular with kids who grew up or were born in the 70s. So the us boys who were, grown, uh, were brought up in the, were born in the 60s were really relating to the, uh, to Walters 5, etc. Then the Saturn robots here, the plastic ones, were for the our younger siblings. So it was popular as a replacement for the band Mecha, Mecha Toys from Japan. Now, also this, this type of toy has uh, several variants. They have different colors, some orange, some yellow, some pink. And every every each one of them are very noisy and consumes 
a lot of batteries because there's a small TV screen inside. Aside from the cars, the trains, the robots, another popular toy back then was the Viewmaster. Here you can see or replay what you have seen in the movies. Uh, the TV shows, it was a sort of a different type of a uh, viewing habit. And of course, our, our anime tabloid back then, I showed the pictures, are the stickers released in, in Manila, uh, which was several, oh, not really several, a lot of Japanese anime characters, cartoons, live action, Star Rangers, Combatra, uh, Keta Robot, these are called, these are the names called here in Manila. Um, now, another popular toy, another classification is the die cast uh, cars. Shown here is the Corgi brand. And on the right side is uh, 1960s plastic cast toys, which were not popular back then. Corgi was a competitor of the most popular die cast toy ever, which is Matchbox. Matchbox was released by Leslie in 1953, Corgi by 1956. So, both in the UK. So, France released their version, which is the Majorette. And Maisto from Hong Kong 1967. Hot Wheels by Mattel to compete, to directly compete with Matchbox. They produced Hot Wheels in 1968. And then Japan released their own Matchbox version, which were, which were called Tomica or Tomika. So, shown in the picture is probably the first exhibit of uh, Matchbox collection in Toycon back in 2010. And of course, another popular toy was the Tonka. Built to last for generations. However you throw it, however you smash it, it's still, it's still standing up. Completo pa din. Unless you, unless masuhin mo eh. Uh, but typical, typical, uh, typical wear and tear, it will last three or four generations. Now, to, to answer the need for a cheaper tonka, Paramount Plastics also released their version, a big version of trucks, cars, made of solid, very durable plastic. You can even sit on it, but the weak point is always the wheel. Uh, it was popular until the early 80s, I think, and diversifying in Paramount Plastics. Baka naging monoblock maker na lang and of course, Pac-Man was playable in our homes due to Atari. The advent of home video console gaming. And anyone go and watch into it? Everybody's, everybody's into gaming nowadays. But this is the most popular back in 79 and 1980. Atari changed the landscape. Much like Windows changed the last landscape of computer. And by the way, Steve Jobs came from Atari. By 1982, Mattel released another toy line named Masters of the Universe. 
it was released with a small comics inside the packaging. Uh, call it mini comics, and it was drawn exclusively by my, my father, Alfredo P. Alcala. And we would say he was the default, default, uh, uh, the default design of every human reincarnations. Uh, one thing that he sneaked into He-Man was putting some toy, uh, some Filipino traits like putting the a dagger on the right hand, right boot of He-Man. This was only shown in the first issue on the cover, <coughs> three pages inside the comics, and never again was shown. And then last year, Mattel reissued it, placed the back of the followed by the design. <coughs> because uh, my dad had been told Barbarians, Conan, Kong, so he was a a bit of an expert on sword and sorcery, which he managed. And up to now, there's even some toy manufacturers that go or recreate Skeletor's head, uh, faithfully copying my dad's design for Skeletor, and they call it Alcala Head, another of his legacy. Filipino legacy for the for the whole world. Mm. By 1986, uh, Centurions came out, which was really not that popular here in Manila, but was popular elsewhere. And the toys were really popular because it was uh, uh, we, the figures were, were I think six inches. Or, or more, I don't have it. But then you can attach weapons, uh, airplane parts, etc. And this is also designed by my, my, my father with Jack Kirby. It was their creation of the Centurions show. So that's it. And by the way, Next, is to collect some photos of the voice dolls, John Hero, Star Trek, of course, 1977 Star Wars, etc. We had uh, exhibit back in 2017, second history con held in Manila. August 2017. Those collections were from Mike Colas, me, Derek Raymond Red, and Jasper Donners. And admiring vintage toys and other vintage materials doesn't mean you have to be old. You have to surround yourself with young people, like the ones in our exhibit at Toy Club back in 2010, 2011, I think. That's it, guys. I hope you relate to what we presented. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Sir, uh, Sir Alfred Alcala Jr. Yeah. So... Worth the wait to see to see the complete set of guests, no? Yes, yes. At saka, the collection of uh, Alfred is really uh, of a different level in terms of the toy, the vintage toy collections <coughs> that uh, we've seen here in the Philippines. At saka, I guess mas weird siya kasi uh, lumaki siya talaga with pop culture in their household because his dad yeah. is of course the legendary artist si Alfredo Alcala. So who's I? Kanina nga nag-comment ako na yung pinakita niya the yung comics that goes along with the He-Man toys uh, mm -hmm. in the original He-Man run. 
dad niya yung nag-drawing nung ibang covers. Tama ba, uh, Direk? Yeah, the, the, Parang si Alfredo Alcala yung nag-drawing ata nung He-Man comics that came that came with the toys. So that's really, that's an amazing legacy. <laughs> okay. All right. So I guess we can go straight to our uh, question and answer games. Unless there are any yeah. more questions from our audience. Meron pa ba tayo mga, mga questions from the audience? From our uh, think, viewers? Yeah, I, I think they're all anticipating na yung mga na eh. Yung mga pa-premio, kapatid eh. Oh, sige, sige. Oh. Alright. So who yeah, do we so, start off with? Who would like to start ano, Christmas early? <laughs> Tingin ko si so Tok-tok we have eh. a question and answer uh, game, uh, trivia game, trivia question. Magtatanong lang ng isang tanong. Uh, each of our guests will ask a question and whoever gets the correct answer to their questions uh, gets to win a prize. All right? Of course, courtesy of our of our guests. Okay, Doc Tony, I hope you can still hear us. Ano bang contribution nating prize? Ang tagal ng delay talaga kay Doc Tony. <laughs> All right. Dr. Oni, can you still hear us? Ano to kapatid eh? Practice to on patience. Kasi yung mga <laughs> prizes din, uh, pahawakan po muna ng toy konti. Yeah. And after the ECQ is done, uh, uh, we'll meet up and give it to you. Yung audio. So, I was waiting for... Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so. Wow. Okay. That's a really nice prize. So, an an yung tanong, Doc Tony. Chalo. Yes. Yes, Doc. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I'll just put up the question on uh, uh, Messenger. Okay, All right. Sige, well. <laughs> uh, the question is the question is um, what was the first mail-away figure for superpowers? Nako. Nice. Nice question. Pwede bang, All right. pwede bang sumali dyan? Hindi, <laughs> 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 <Ay, laughs> MC ka ngayon. Bawal ah, sumali. Nalo <laughs> na ako twice. Right. Eh. <laughs> so, uh, Doc Tony's prize is a Lex Luthor. Uh, and uh, the, the question is, what was the very first mail away action figure in the superpowers line? Right? The first mm. person to give the correct answer. Ayan. Uh, sige. Yeah, yeah, Alamin natin what the correct answer. What's the correct answer, Doc, Doc Tony? I think I have an idea who it is, pero just to be sure, let's ask the expert. Okay, so who was the very first mail away? Uh, for those of you who don't know what a mail away toy is, uh, you actually yeah. have to cut out the coupon in the cardboard uh, card back. So, tatanggalin yung actual figure, yung uh, the back of the card has a coupon, you have to cut that up and mail it back to the manufacturer. <laughs> Okay, and then when, mm. once they receive registered mail, i- i- mail nila sa inyo yung exclusive figure which you can only get as a mail away. All right, and the answer okay. is, ayan, sinabi na ni Doc Henry, ay Doc Henry, yes. ni Doc Tony. <laughs> the answer, <laughs> ibang Doc yun, the ibang answer, Doc. Doc yun. The answer is Stephen Wolf. Stephen okay. Wolf. Okay, tamong ko. Oh. Si Stephen uh, Wolf pala. At ang unang nakatagot, kapatid. I see uh, Ron, natin, Roland Carrion. Tama ba? Tama ba? Let's get ano. Yon! Oh, wow! Si Ro- Roland Dane Ro- Carrion. Si Roland Dane Carrion. Congratulations to uh, Roland. DC Superheroes Lex Luthor figure. Thank you, Doc. Maraming salamat, Doc Tony. All right. Si, si Jazz naman. Jazz, do you have anything for our audience? Meron akong katanong kaso di ko alam kung na tindihan nila eh. Yung name na lang Malas- nila. Yes, yes. 
Malalaman natin. Nice, oo nga. Sinabi ko yung name you. nito. Since ano na, nung bata pa ako. Wala pagkabata, di ba? Actually, very precious nice, sa akin. Nice. Sinabi ko kanina. Then, sinabi ko rin yung name niya. Who can ever... Yung the actual name ng toy na to, which is released in 1984. Yeah. Ayan, price ko. Ito. At ang price po para sa pangalan ng robot ni Jazz ay... Akala ko yung, akala ko yung robot, yung price. Oh, wow! Vintage. That's really nice. Vintage. Yeah, so... Ten UFO. Nice! Okay. Next from the so 1960s. Clue. Actually, ma- pwede nyo i-look up sa internet yan eh, kung nahirapan sila. <laughs> okay, may mga may mga nanghuhula. Hindi yan si Voltes 5. Hindi si Voltes 5 yun. <laughs> hindi rin hindi si rin, uh, Yellow 4. <laughs> hindi rin Baby, hindi rin Jazz Jr. Ang pangalan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bioman, hindi yan si Bioman. Pakita mo ulit, Jasp. Can you can you can you put it up again? All right, yan. Who is that robot? Okay. Ako rin, parang I think I missed out on the name kanina do sa sinabi mo. So you're going to have to announce it. Wait, let's let's get a few more people to answer. I I'm not sure if uh, we have the correct answer already. I hope we get the correct answer. O sige. Just fuck you reveal what is the name of this robot? Magic Mike. Si ah, Magic Mike. Mike. Si Magic Mike. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see ha. Oh my gosh, munti ka na si Brett Benson. Sabi ni ayun, I think Magic ha, Magic ha, hindi Mighty. Hindi ba Mighty Mike? Bakit Magic, Magic Mike? Mike? Magic Mike, all right. So it's not Mighty Mike. Magnatron. Okay, so did somebody get... Ayun, I think... Oh my God! Okay, we'll wait for the official announcement from Jay. Wala ba? Wala bang napakuha? The first, the first person to mention Magic Mike on the chat. Parang meron eh. Parang meron ako nakikita. So, from, from what I see, ah, I think si Roland Dane Carion ulit gave the, gave the answer. Pero give chance to others muna. Give chance to others. Maghanap tayo na ano. Sige, kahit narinig nyo na yung answer, you can still, ay, ayan, okay. I think there's a, the next person after Roland did gave the answer. Okay, sino ba? Who was the next person to, uh, there you go. Michael Colomna. Congratulations. Michael Colomna. Yes. The actual name of the toy is uh, Magic Mike 1984. Yeah. All right, congratulations. That's your prize. Yung tin toy na UFO toy. Congratulations. Thank congratulations. you, Jazz. Hold- Salamat, Jazz. Ma- right. uh, what about uh, Rain Man, Mr. Uh, Raymond Red? <laughs> ano, ano, ano mo na ang question mo? Uh, okay, yung, prize, yung question ko is about... Vintage G.I. Joe, pero yung hindi ako mamimigay ng G.I. Joe, ha? masyado mahal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, okay. Ay, ay, i-post up yung picture naman. Ako, ipakita ko na lang. Yung, yung ah, I'm yung, sure, sure. Ayan, ayan. Oh, post daw natin yung picture ng giveaway ni uh, Direct. Giveaway. There. Titanium X-Wing tsaka mug. Eh, nice, nice. Nice, nice. nice. Okay. Hindi yan yung sa akin, ha? Ay, okay, hindi. Hindi daw sa kanya yan. Sorry. Kaya yan. Kaya Alfred. Alfred. Kaya Alfred yan. Nasaan yung king? Ano ba yung kaya ito? Sorry, sorry about that. Yung parang palengke toys. <laughs> nasa ano ba? Nasa presentation mo? Ay, wala eh. Ay, ay, nasa, message, nasa chat ba? Nasa chat. Nasa messenger, message. nasa messenger. Right, right. 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 Let's find that. Anyway, it's a uh, parang ano, vintage 70s, mga palengke to, ang tawag natin palengke to, diba? mga cheap plastic okay. toys from the 70s. Yan, yun yung papamigay ko. Alright. Alright. Ano yung tanong natin, Sir Rainman? Which one is 
Uh, I hope may makasagot. If you were listening to my talk kanina, what year was the first G.I. Joe released? The first true G.I. Joe in an inch. Not the small wow. G.I. Joe's, ah. Kasi mas popular, wala ka alam mo. But the 12-inch G.I. Joe was released at what year? Nice. Good question. So, uh, what year was the very first G.I. Joe action figure <laughs> released, which is the 12-inch the twelve inch action figure? Okay, so yeah, let's get some answers on the board. Ayan, labasa na. Usay. All right. <laughs> We're getting a lot of answers. Oh, okay, I think uh, we can reveal the, the year. Yeah, All so right. G.I. Joe was first released by Hasbro in 1964. Nice. All right. 1964. So uh, who is the first person to give the correct answer? All right. Uh, there. The first person to correct uh, to give the correct answer is Tracy Mendoza. Tracy Mendoza. There you go. So uh, you get the prize courtesy of uh, Rain Man Red. Nice, nice. Okay. All right. And Congrats. Find the Thank meaning. you. Thank you. Last but not least, from uh, Mr. Fred Alcala Jr. So again, we, we showed this picture. And yeah, so that's a titanium X Wing and a mug. Yeah. And the question is... Ayan, I think you said... Read it. What? Okay. Yes, I'll read it verbatim. No? What did my dad insert in He-Man that can only be seen in the first mini-comics but not seen in all pages? What did his dad insert in He-Man that can only be seen in the first mini-comics but not in all pages? So, all right. Okay. He-Man. Okay. May mga nakasagot na ba? So the question again is uh, what was the uh, item I, I, think, I, caught, I think I caught it kanina. What was the item that uh, Alfredo Alcala inserted in the drawing in the, I think, at the, mm -hmm. of the first He-Man uh, action figure, the comics that came with it. So uh, Ano yun? Parang oh. may na narinig ko rin yung sagot. Yeah. Oo. Oh. Parang yeah. siya, eh, hidden, parang hidden Mickey. Hidden Mickey. To, parang para lang to uh, sort of relate him man as a Filipino uh, hero. Ayan. Very good. Mm. So the correct answer is, if I'm not mistaken, and I people are, are also caught that, it's, the, yeah, kapatid, you can read it out. Yeah. It's a dagger at the right boot. Ayan, ayan, no? Ayun daw. O sige, well, uh, maraming sumagot na dagger in the right leg. Okay, there. I think Pwede I na rin yun. Dagger in the right leg, yun. So, yan yung yeah. debroving ni Alfredo Alcala. It did not appear inside the comics. In the <laughs> interior of the comics. Uh, who who, who uh, give the correct answer first? Maraming nakasagot. I think it is. Sige, is it, uh, there you go. Tama. Uh, Ayi Clavesilia. Clavesilia. Ayi Clavesilia. Congratulations. Ay. Oh, congratulations. You win those prizes. So for those of you who are wondering how to claim how to claim your prizes, uh, we will actually wait for the ECQ to be lifted and we will designate a uh, pickup place sa Green Hills. Kung paano nyo makukuha. Or, if the donors are kind enough, pwede kayo, you can message them or you can you can arrange like a delivery of the prizes. Okay. Pero, congratulations to all of you who won. And, uh, wow, what a great episode. It, it's really an amazing uh, uh, experience to go back in time. Parang time capsule, kapatid, no? to see all of those that's right, that's great right. toys yeah. and 
Oh, it felt like our own version of ano, the, the toys that made us. Toycon Philippines version. <laughs> diba? The toys That's that right. made us. And who, who would we be now? Diba? So, diba? Oh, who would we be now if not for the toys? I'm pretty it's sure that influenced uh, Direct Me On to become a filmmaker. That influenced uh-huh. uh, Jazz to uh, put up his own uh, <laughs> retro toy club. Ayan. Si yeah. Alfred, for sure. Uh, he did not influence yeah. talagang. He lived the life of uh, pop culture through his, uh, through his father at saka yung pagiging collector niya. Wow, is that an original Evil Kid Evil? <laughs> All so, right. Uh, so, uh, thank you. Duke Kaboom. Uh, wow, that's so, not Duke Kaboom. Sa anak ko to eh. <laughs> it's not mine. Si, si Duke wow. sa no, Toy, nice, Toy nice. Story 4. Yeah. yeah. Si Duke. Duke. O oh, ba- oh, si Bayo man. No? Sir, sir Alfred, um, may parang may sabi si ano. Uh, Alfred, meron ka bang final message, Alfred? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, please. Uh, yung mga toys ko, my vintage toys, were all my toys I played with during the younger days while growing up. Unfortunately, my mom doesn't throw away things. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Don't we just love our moms? Ayan. Uh, and thank you for mentioning great moms who don't throw away old toys. Happy Mother's Day in advance to all of Happy the moms. Happy Mother's Day, nonetheless. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for preserving our toys for us, okay? Uh, and that's and it for, for episode 4. Yes, yes for episode and for buying four. our first toys. Salamat, salamat. Uh, thank you for tuning in for those of you. Uh, and uh, we will uh, post the names of the, of the winners once again on the ToyCon Facebook page. Even those who won our uh, souvenir program, there are 10 of you who will uh, receive the uh, ToyCon 2011 souvenir program. That's it for episode four. Uh, yes. Stay tuned for more of ToyCon TV next week. It's going to be cosplay week, all right? Because cosplay Ooh. is also a large part of uh, what we enjoyed in our uh, ToyCon experience, okay? So uh, we're going to give it up for uh, the toy, toy, to- sorry, cosplay crowd next week for ToyCon TV. So uh, we're going right. to be back with you on Tuesday, uh, May, Tuesday. next Tuesday, May uh, 12, tama ba? Or 11? 9, 10, 11, 12. May 12, 12 Tuesday. May 12. All right, and we have a very uh, special guest the next Saturday, all right, for our Cosplay Week episodes for ToyCon. All right. Kapatid, That's any great. final message? No. Well, again, we just like to thank all our audience uh, who participated. And we'd like to thank, of course, our four guests, our four guests who... Uy, who, baka naman may mga shout-out. Back to the future. Pabatiin naman natin sila. Oo, lalo na uh, COVID. May mga gusto pa kayong batiin. Shout out sa mga collectors club niyo. Yes, Jess, go ahead. You first. Uh, I would like to ano greet lang yung anak ko. Happy birthday on Happy Wednesday, birthday. On Tuesday. Tuesday, May 12. Happy birthday anak Jada. Love you. Yan. Yan. Thank Yan you, lang. thank you, Jada. <laughs> Yan. Makita tayo ulit sa Toycon TV episode on Tuesday. Happy birthday in advance. Doc Tony, ikaw na. <laughs> 30 minutes back, huwag <laughs> bumati si Dr. Tony. Sino pa ba si mo, Dr. Tony? O oh, sige. Oo. Oh. Ang tagal talaga, no? Parang Alexander. Oo, oh, kapatid. Yes? Ayan o. No. Hindi, batingin ko lang si Bo. Birthday bukas ni Bo. Uy, happy birthday, oh. my inanak. <laughs> yes, two years <laughs> old. Has it been a year? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, I love the way on the uh, uh, quarter speed. Hi, si Dr. Tony. Ang tagal talaga ng signal. Ipopost na lang natin yung kay Dr. Tony. Okay, sige, direct. Uh, Direct Raymond, thank you for joining us. Who, 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 any special shout outs for you? Uh, so Manila Joes, mara, marami sila eh. But uh, si, I think Jerry Terona goes way back with me. So, ano, he was watching at that. No? With uh, Abet Anido and, and many others. A lot of Manila Joes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Direct. 
Thank you for joining us. Sir Alfred, do you still hear us? Baka may bati si Alfred. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes sir. Alfred. Yes. Uh, just a reminder to all toy collectors, everything will be vintage. <laughs> so, tama, tama. That's right. All right. What a great message to end the show. Thank you so much to all of our guests once again for ToyCon TV Episode 4. Maraming salamat kapatid for joining me tonight. And we will all see right. You. I hope to see you again. That's right. We'll see you all next week for ToyCon TV. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Ayun. Sila ka, friend. Thank you. Nakanaos din. Medyo primitive lang. Patch up na na eh. Oo. Okay lang yun.